continuity. But unfortunately, there can really only be one winner in each category. Nonetheless, we want to introduce them to you and we want to showcase their work and just pay tribute to the dynamism of their ideas. So I'd like to welcome onto stage Pauline and McLean. If you could come up on stage, please. Our beautiful organizer from the Africa Innovation Foundation. African Innovation sends out that represents uh, the fact that Africans can be able to uh, develop uh, innovations that address their own problems. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are the 10 nominees. They do not go home empty handed. They'll be presented with a certificate by way of recognizing their work and contribution and a very modest token to help you develop that idea further. Would you like to say anything to it, Pauline? I think everything has been said before. I just wanted to thank everyone who made this uh, event a beautiful one and successful one. And thank you for coming from all corners of Africa to help us uh, celebrate African ingenuity in style. Thank you. Our pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, the 10 nominees, I think what I'm going to suggest of a small sponsorship. Would you like me to help you with um, giving out the certificates?
Thank you, thank you so much for this. It's quite an honor, and I, I didn't believe I made it here, and now I don't believe I have this either, so it's just, it's very humbling. Thank you. I am from Kenya. Just very quickly before we dismiss you, Alex, do you want to tell me a little bit about your idea, very briefly? My company is called Farm Capital Africa, and what we do is we help small-scale farmers to access expansion capital by connecting them to investors through the internet. So the second prize winner, Alex Mauro Murui from Kenya, twenty-five thousand US dollars for your idea. The grand prize, the winner of the Innovation Prize for Africa in 2015 is Mr. Adnan Rahman. des effets négatifs pour la santé humaine. 